Hello everyone, welcome to Python programming tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about um, type, id, and is instance methods in Python and how are they helpful in your Python programming. So I have already um, created a file type and id and I have written a couple of lines of code there. So what I'm doing is I have uh, defined a list and allocated it to a variable a. Then I'm printing the list. So it will print the list here in the line number four and then it will print type uh, of this variable a. Let's try and execute this and see what the result is. So you can see the list has been printed and the class list has been returned. So it's a list, it's a type list. So as you know, in Python, everything is an object. So a type is um, same as a class. So uh, now if we want to find the type of particular uh, element within the list you can also do that so for example you want to see what is the type of the third element of the list so you can simply say um, the location of that object um, save the file and run and now you can see that the third element is the float number and it has been returned as float now let's try creating one more list exactly similar i'll duplicate this and say um, it's allocated to the variable b and now what i'll do is i'll just type in uh, i'll try to sorry i'll try to print the type of both the lists so you can see that both are the lists you can also verify the elements within the list so you can say uh, what is the type of um, second element in list a and what is the type of second element in list b and it will return uh, that both are float because both are the identical lists now the other method that is very helpful in python is id so if you just remove type by id and see what exactly it prints uh, when you run this program i'll save the code and run it so you can see that id is some number that got printed so what exactly is id id is a memory address in um, for any object so all objects have their unique id in python so it's an address where this particular object will be uh, is stored and because um these uh, the num the uh, the uh, the number three or the element three in this list is float and it's exactly same so what python does is it doesn't instantiate or it doesn't store it it as two separate objects it basically says both are identical and stores at the same location so that's why you can see that id for both the elements is same so to verify that these um, two objects are same you can uh, what you can do is you can say just if a is same as b then print same object else print different all right and now you can see if you run it um, what it will print so it will print same object because this uh, three is float in list a and uh, three is uh, float in list b as well and they are the same objects now if you change it to say one and try to uh, execute it and now you will see oh sorry i made it i need to change it here and run it and you'll see a different object now the other important method is is instance so to explain is instance what i'll do is uh, what i want to do here is uh, i'm trying to uh, check whether this list 
type of list is um, type of this instance or variable a is list then print list and otherwise do not print list um, so if I try to execute this and it will say it's not not a list which is not the case let me comment these lines here and I'll comment this line as well so what I want to do is if the type of this variable a is list which is actually the case so it should print uh, this as list but why it is not printing as list so uh, the, so the reason is you need to use a different uh, method altogether which is is instance so how you can uh, do is you can say if is instance of a and then comma is list and then it will print list otherwise it will so you can see it printed list so is instance is the method that you need to use to verify whether the particular object that you want to check is a list or tuple or dictionary etc so this is um, about type ID and in is instance in Python. Thank you.